day YouTube. Today we're taking a bit of a quick look at uh, MX Linux 21 uh, versus Endeavor OS uh, on the right hand side. So these are both actually the latest releases. Uh, now starting off some background information. MX Linux is based off uh, Debian and Endeavor OS is actually based off Arc Linux, a very thriving community there to say the least. Now they are actually both uh, rolling releases effectively here, so you're just gonna get updates all the time. You don't actually have to uh, do a massive update once every six months or so. Now, both of these can be considered to have XFCE as their default desktop environment or probably one of the most popularly used desktop environments for each of these. So it is quite uh, similar. I mean, there is a few key differences the way that uh, it's optimized. So we've got the start menu. Everyone's happy enough there. We've got a little uh, a little docky doc. I think it's called docky here. Properties, no, can't find it. Uh, yeah, little thing, very, very Mac OS-esque. Uh, if you will there, so it just happens to allow you to drag and drop whatever you want in there. Oh, if it works, no, not this time, maybe later. Anyway, moving on, uh, let's have a look at the file manager. Now it should be all Thuna, the Thuna file manager. Uh, you know, very you know, lightweight yet functional, got all the options there. Uh, we right click and uh, we have a bit of a look and we'll find we can right click open terminal, which makes me very, very wonder bar happy. Now, having a look at the uh, the kernel uh, in play for each of these puppies, this is uh, where it really gets different. So we've got the 5.10 kernel on uh, the MX Linux, which is uh, a little bit older because we're running on Debian, which is a, 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 a more stable, older branch of, 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 of the Linux uh, setup here for those sorts of things. Whereas on the right-hand side, we've got 5.15, which is probably one of the latest and greatest that I've seen in recent times. So that's really good to see if you've got new hardware you know, GPUs, CPUs, Wi-Fi cards, list goes on. So that's pretty much it guys, just a super simple uh, and fun quick video to show you guys uh, what's the go with these two puppies here. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.